This week, we're back in the beautiful city of Marmaris on the Turkish Riviera, where we continue with ongoing boat projects and installations. So today I've installed all our peplink gear. This is the peplink balance two router. This is the SIM injector. So you can put up to six SIM cards in here for, you know, if you needed that many. Uh, and this, this goes out to an antenna on the, uh, it's called the HD Pro Dome. It's out here on the mast. I've mounted it up on the mast. And uh, that gives a cellular signal and Wi-Fi boost signal in case we want to pick up Wi-Fi from a local place. Well, you will mount it on the mast right now. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not actually on the mast. It's just on a guardrail right there. But uh, and then this is our uh, access point uh, uh, in the boat. This broadcasts all over the boat, so everybody's got Wi-Fi signal. My goal is to run all of my to shut down all the Wi-Fi on the boat, so I only have one Wi-Fi signal on the boat. I don't know if I can get that done, but that's my goal: is to get all the Wi-Fi down to this, and everything comes in and out of this thing. The other thing I'm going to have routed through that is my Iridium Exec Go and uh, the Data Hub, so I get all my polars and everything while I'm sailing. And it's a backup to the. It's actually really not a backup. It, it runs in conjunction with my with my Starlink because I'm probably not going to have Starlink coverage in the ocean unless I want to pay the higher prices. And uh, with this, I, I have backup. I have redundancy in all my sailing and weather and all that kind of stuff. So all of this will all be plumbed through chart plotters and everything coming back to this balance uh, router. And um, I'm trying to just eliminate all the Wi-Fi signals that I have on the boat, so I just limited it down to uh, hard wires to this and then one broadcasting out. So hopefully I can get that done. Well, I found a dentist that speaks great English, so the kids are gonna get their teeth cleaned. I got mine cleaned back in Fethier. So now we're gonna see if the kids have any cavities. Have y'all been flossing? Nope. Nope. Mm. <laughs> I didn't ask. Oh. There he is. Okay, Finn is next. Hey, look what's on TV. I know that channel. I know that boy. We are watching you. We oh, are. Awesome. Oh. We let the ads roll too. That's nice. <laughs> That's where the money is. <laughs> you didn't have any cavities. Mm. Good girl. But um. No, he said my uh, one of my wisdom teeth is growing weirdly. So I'm probably gonna have to get not even just that one, but my other ones probably when they grow in, I'm gonna have to get them extracted. Yeah, because they don't normal. fit. Kate has no cavities, but got sealants put on all on four molars. Jack, what's wrong? I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, Jack had no cavities. Forget it. It's cavities. Give me a break. Uh oh. <laughs> that big box. X-ray time. All right, Dennis is over. That was it. Was seventy-five dollars for each cleaning which is pretty good. I think it's about 150 in the US. And the fillings were uh, 50 bucks a piece. Sealants were $25 a piece. And my teeth were perfect. He said it. Perfect. The dentist said it, mine were My flawless. teeth are not. <laughs> Finn always Dang. has problems. <laughs> Finn has almost never not had a cavity. Because he has a terrible diet. He eats sugar all the time. Where are we going? Yeah. So I... Wired everything down. I got everything. I put my NAS and Plex down here because oh, in the good. summertime this stays cool in here, and the air condition cools this off as well. And these screens on this so the dirt doesn't get sucked into there into the NAS and the Plex. Everything will be cooler down there. And then I got everything wired right here. I use heavy duty 3M Velcro to wire the Peplink stuff up here. The only thing, and, and then I put the Starlink. All the Starlink box there is power supply. That's all that is. And then I've got the dome, the HD Pro dome out here from Peplink or Pepwave. It goes up on the mast, but it broke my harness the other day because I'm so fat. Anyway, nearly I went up the the mast once, it was okay. It went start up the second time, was halfway up, and it broke, and I fell down to the deal. Fortunately, I had cat like reflexes, landed on all fours. Jack was looking at me wide eyed and bushy tailed, and we decided we're not going to do that again today. Uh, but I need to mount that. Uh, that thill up there, and Jack can't do it because he's colorblind. And when you cut these Cat5 connectors in, you have to be able to see all the different brown, orange, red, and little bitty cables and feed them in there. See, I got to get another uh, bosun seat and go up there, and then I can cut that in and mount that up there instead of right there. And everything's complete, and it's nice, clean install. So we've got backup for uh, the, the Pep Wave, Pep Link thing, uh, Pep Wave 
uh, gives us backup for cellular SIM cards, and then it's also wired through the Starlink. And also going to have my uh, Uranium Go wired all the way through this, and my uh, Data Hub from Predict Win wired all the way into this. So I got to run another Cat5 cable from over there to my Predict Win, and everything's wired together. It's just wired together. It's going to be tremendous. It's going to be great. It's just wonderful. Put that thing back on. Yep. Here Cover we go. All up. Cover that mess did up. You get, did you get that up close? I, did. I even mounted a, a battery, my DeWalt battery drill charger down there. Oh my gosh, you're just such a tool tool time Tim, is what you are. This little thing's a SIM injector, so you can put up to six or seven SIM cards in there. So if Starlink quits working, or Starlink's intermittent, this just kicks in if you've got local SIM cards you shove in there, data cards, and bam, there's no downtime on the, on the internet. So it's constantly plugged in. Mm -hmm. Got a redundant cord on this side plugged in and on this side to keep you truly plugged into the... Uh, Which we're actually using right now. Because, yeah, because uh, Starlink went down. Tur Turkey is not a Starlink friendly country. Oh, look at that. Oh, that makes Mama happy, that's all I got to say. It's all clean. This used to be covered with junk back oh. here. Cables, cables, boards. parts, pieces. Mm. Now we're done. Yep. Good man. This anchorage has really started to fill up with boats as the tourist season just began here in Marmaris, but also cruising season is soon to kick off. And so everyone is getting their repairs done and their boats up to speed for cruising the med this summer. We are headed to pick up half of the cushions that we had reupholstered. That's right. Right now, and we're going to bring the guys back out. They're going to take off the rest of the cushions and bring those in and recover those. So we won't have anywhere to sit for another week. That's right. But uh, it's okay because I'm excited. We got uh, new beautiful leather coverings for the for the cushions, and they're also going to make coverings for the coverings for where we sit a lot. That's right. So we don't wear out the leather where the high high uh, high uh, traffic area. We're good. We're good. We're very good. Thank you. Okay, so just some of the cushions. The rest aren't ready yet. Yeah. What did she well, say? Well, we. When? Uh, I guess they're going to get the. We're, we're going to get all the, the other cushions. They're going to take those. Take those. Where are we going to sit? Uh, we're going to sit right where we sit in the bedroom. There'll be a lot of bedroom time <laughs> for a week. Go here. I think I can't read Turkish. Turkish uh, Turkish cursive. Turkish cursive. That's the worst. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. That seems right. I think. That's good. See, that's Turkish cursive. I yep. don't know quite how it goes. But And then this one goes right here. Those were so gross. They the were. wood was rotten and everything, wasn't it? Yeah, that's nasty. Oh, look at that. We picked the right color, too. Yeah, that looks really good. Sit on it. Yeah. Sit on it. Break it. Oh, look at that. It's got enough cushion for my pushing. <laughs> What kind of man, man are you? If you don't have a little bit of zest, pirates don't waste. And we're gonna drop the. Uh... Oh yeah. So we're having the upholsterers add two more circles so we can hang two more chairs on the, on this black deck shade. We can hang two right now, but we're gonna make two more so we can have four chairs. Our salon table is electric and is supposed to go up and down, but it's broken and wobbly and Keith tried to fix it, but it's rotted and just not fixable. So now we're going to see if we can just get a new sturdier stand built here in Marmaris. I can have him build a frame just like this for the top, just like that. Just a, just a square frame. 
I'm going to see if I can get a new plate like this built. Yeah. But if the guy can do this, he can probably build a whole pedestal. Yeah. And I just need to fit the dimensions of the bottom plate and the top plate so that that'll go over the floor. Yeah. The things will go around it. And then I, I can get rid of this whole thing. Yeah. We won't be able to lower the table down. We don't anyway. <laughs> yeah, we don't anyway. We used to have to start our water maker by going down in the sugar scoop and pressing the button down there and climbing down in there and turning it off the same way. Now I see Recovery and Parker, uh, they've got this remote start switch right here and I can start the water maker right here and if I start it right now there it goes it's taken off and it shows right now that there's uh, uh, no potable water nothing's happening right now it's just oh, the water the bad water is going overboard and once the water gets potable or which it reaches the right salinity of no salt this slide will come on and there's oh, there potable goes. water so now we're getting two to three hundred parts per million water quality and that's pretty good water. Uh, the other thing I installed on our, our sea recovery is a, uh, a uh, calcium carbonate uh, remineralization filter and pH balance filter. And you can see the rocks in there as the water's going up and down it. You can see the, the water coming through there and it's, it's filtering through the calcium carbonate. It's remineralizing the water. It takes the pH balance up so it's less acidic. It's a really cool deal. It makes our water taste good and our water doesn't smell no more. Okay, a couple days ago, Keith dropped off that plate to make the table stand, so we're going to check on it. See if it's ready or if it's in progress. Hello, Captain. How's it going? You're working on something else. You need to be working on my stuff. Yes. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You're awesome. going to get on that today? Yes, today I start, sir. Here, your details. All right. You start today. It'll be ready tomorrow or Friday. All right, let's see how our cushions are coming. They're not all gonna be ready until, gosh, another week and a half, but we might be able to take some back to the boat today. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, nice. Got the wood on there. Yeah, all that. Look at that. That's good. That's not new wood. No, but he's got oh. the wood on the cushion. Yeah, so nice. And he's making covers. That's so good. Okay, if you come to Marmorous, these guys did our upholstery and have done a fantastic job. Hello. Mom and Pop shop, and they do great work. Looks daddy good. And she's working too. Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's working. <laughs> we'll be back this afternoon. What time? Evening. Evening, Five? yeah. Yeah, excellent. They called and said that some of our cushions are ready, or one of our cushions are ready, so we're gonna go pick them up, or pick it up. Kate what went the... parasailing today. With Bella on the other boat. Yep, Bella is 16 and just as adventurous as you are, which is kind of unusual, because you're overly adventurous for a 15 year old, my opinion. Well, thank you. <laughs> they squished the boats in here. Is that a war? There you go. Look at that. Just like that. Daddy can squeeze in anywhere. Oh, it looks very good. So these are the covers over the leather. And how do they come off? Velcro? Yeah. Velcro? Oh, that is nice. Yeah. And just take those off. Oh, the They've got four cushions ready for us today. Sweet. And you can unwrap them. Right here. I don't remember which ones go where. Oh, yeah, they don't fit down in the deal. Well, maybe you can snap them. Hmm. I'll call it normal. I think that's where that one goes. No. These need to be taller. 
just because of the Velcro. And, yeah, the covers. Yeah. yeah, they don't sit down. Uh, that's a problem. Lovely. Maybe. I mean, they're comfortable. Are they? Sitting here, no, really I mean, they're solid. That's, yeah. that's the way they were when they were new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's how Dad's gonna be. <laughs> I don't like that moving around. They're gonna have to, gonna have to figure this something. This one ain't moving very much. Well, you're falling forward on it. Yeah, unless you sit on the edge. Sit on the edge. Sit on the edge. You're working like this. Yeah, always sit on the edge. Well, you have the cushions behind you that'll hold yeah, the back down. Yeah, that's one thing you're not realizing. Yeah, I have the back. Don't spill peanut butter on that. Don't spill no peanut butter on that. <laughs> We're gonna be sitting here eating dinner out here. It don't make no yeah, difference. Yeah, you gotta remember, there's another. Yeah, yeah the bat. That goes there. It'll hold them Even down. Though now we can sit here. And Nothing's yeah. solid. All right, the table stand is ready. We're going to pick it up. Back to the dock. Back to the dock again. Back and forth. Back and forth we go. Hey, I'm early. <laughs> Look at that, that looks good. Don't look at that, eh? Oh, you can film it. Okay. All right. $650 for that. The material itself was $300. And so, uh,. It took him uh, half a day, I guess, to get it done. Probably Thank three or four you. hours. You sure you don't need to clean or paint anything? Because it's covered. It's covered. It was a little wobbly, though. I was concerned. Well, it may. He said once you bolt it down. Yeah, well, it may be. Maybe. Well, let's see. Pretty sturdy. That's nice. Six hundred and fifty euros. For that. That's pretty cheap. For a box of metal. The material he said was three hundred, so he he made three hundred and fifty dollars in like three hours. But Dad said for a machine shop guy, that's not bad. 115 an hour. 100. Yeah, 100 bucks an hour or something. 118. Still, that's. 17. Hey, no, somebody wanted you to play Hey Joe. I got a message today. table on. Drum roll please. Let's see if it's wobbly. Uh, oh. God, God. Oh, do that. Is it backwards? No, it's right. This is right? Mm-hmm. Uh, huh? That's what I'm talking about. That's what he's talking about. Is it wobbly? <laughs> Not like it was before. There's a charter boat. Come 
going to have a Kermit Data Charter. A little bit of rainy day guitar play. The shade is fixed, yay! Oh, it was never broken, but well, it's, it's uh, upgraded. It's got two more holes in it. Hey, ooh, okay. Did y'all get rain on? No. Not yet? Rough when do we get the rest of cushions? Uh, he said a little bit. Tonight, though? Maybe. Yeah. Who want this? Uh, put it up on deck. Look at that. It is about to rain again. Did you hear that thunder? Oh, yeah, I heard it. Back to town in the rain to pick up some more of the cushions, maybe all of them, maybe some of them. It's a lovely day, a lovely day. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Look good. Okay, thank you. We'll see you in a few days. Yeah, Bella spent the night last night. They stayed up till one o'clock watching horror movies and she ate breakfast and then she had to go. What's up? The lights look really good. Yeah. Thanks, Lumatech. Those he couldn't they couldn't put the covers on. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Jesus. Where's the same pieces? Uh, it's like a device. Yeah. It's like a puzzle. It feels like a puzzle. Yeah, that was a good with those. Even though they're not covered, it looks oh, okay. It looks really good. It's actually two tone. That's good. I just don't want it to get arm marks on it, it and then it'll be a different color than the leather underneath. Well. Oh, that. that looks yeah. nice. That is nice. Oh, sweet. Clean. All right, y'all okay. sit down. Wait. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> it's nice. not slouchy. I know, it's nice and you get good posture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, new cushions. Yes. Oh, hopefully, we'll get the other cushions, the back for the uh, couch in a few days. But I've got to wrap this video up because I got to get it uh, uploaded to the tube. So thanks for watching. Come back next week for lots more adventures and hopefully we'll be finished with the salon update. Kate, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. You have the grip. <laughs> the grip. <laughs>